Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Kirsten here and today I want to share with you something personal that hopefully will help you too if you are feeling healthy and happy and you are recovered from all your metabolic issues that includes AHA and if you have been recovered for a while and maybe are now thinking about losing a little bit of body fat and getting a little bit leaner. First, I have to say that I was pretty resistant. I didn't want to talk about it uh, because I have been talking about this AJ stuff for so many years now. And I felt like my audience uh, is so used to hearing me talk about one certain thing. And all of a sudden, is it kind of like a wrong thing to start talking about my body change and even having the desire to change anything about my body? Because for a very, very long time, I, I didn't think that we should even focus on that and this should really not be a big deal. However, now, several years later, I mean, I have been recovered for three and a half years and I realized that it's time for me to change something. And it started, um, I started feeling this way in March this year, 2020. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, and see what I can do here. And like I said, I was, I was almost like terrified to talk about it because I was like, what if people are gonna judge me? But then I was talking to one of my friends and she always has really, really good advice for me. She's able to see things really objectively. And she said, well, would you consider yourself completely and fully healed from your past eating disorder? And I said, yeah, absolutely, 100%. I haven't had any eating issues for years now. And she said that, you know what, like everybody, every normal person, or not maybe every normal person, but most healthy people, once in a while, think about losing some body fat or losing a little bit of weight. And they don't approach it in an unhealthy way or in a way that I have to do no matter what, or if I don't do it, then I'm an unworthy person and they don't go like 100% on it. But it's, it's normal that they want to do it. And, and what if you are one of these people now? You don't have your eating disorder anymore. Your body is functioning normally. Why are you so afraid of talking about it? And I realized that, yes, she's absolutely right. She's 100% right. And like I said, I didn't have any eating issues anymore. My body was restored and recovered. And so I started slowly and carefully start, sort of like coming out of the closet and, and talk a little bit more about like what I want to change. Because honestly, like my, my business, my, my own life, my whole life is my business, right? So I talk to you about everything that I do. If you follow me on Instagram, you see literally everything that I do, how I train, how I eat, what I think. And now if I all of a sudden want to start hiding the fact that I am intentionally trying to do some body fat, that doesn't feel authentic to me. Authentic to me. So in March, 2020, uh, I was thinking, okay, how can I, what can I change? Because, you know, everybody says that, yeah, just eat intuitively. And I've, I've had, uh, I've been that person too. I've said, yeah, eat intuitively and everything will fall into place. But it didn't fall into place because I was still feeling like, okay, you know, I, I'm feeling okay. I like myself and I love myself and it's fine, but I would not mind losing some body fat. And just eating intuitively wouldn't do it. My eating was still somewhat all over the place. I had like a lot of just like random snacking, no structure really. And I didn't even know like what, what should I do? Because in the past, um, what I had been doing, as you probably know, I had been doing Weight Watchers, which was like uh, uh, definitely very restrictive. Maybe the approach, the way I did it was really, really restrictive. Then I had been trying counting calories and I had always had this mindset that I have to do it super perfectly. So I wasn't sure like how to go about it. What should I do? I have a friend who is a macro coach and I asked her, hey, you know, I, I know that you do the, the macros and I've never been really interested in it, but uh, do you mind teaching me how to do it? And do you mind putting together like a very moderate plan for me that I could use? I could, I could use learning doing macros and see where it takes me. And she said, okay, okay, sure. You know, we can do it for sure. Um, I'm gonna put together a plan for you that it's very, very moderate and very gentle so that we're not gonna put you like on a 25% calorie deficit or something like that because she knows my hormonal issues, my, my background. 
Um, and we know that I am not supposed to lose a lot of weight because I don't want to get back to all of these issues that I had. And so we started uh, using this protocol. She created me, she put together some numbers for me that she thought might work for me. And in March, I started doing it. And tracking was a little bit hard at first. Like I said, I had not done this before. I know many people have, and, uh, and for me, it was a new experience. But honestly, it got easier pretty quickly. In about a couple of weeks, I was like, okay, yeah, I got it. And uh, I never felt like extremely hungry because my caloric deficit was low uh, or very small and it was my goal to lose body fat very very slowly so i have gained and lost weight a couple of times in my life but this time i wanted to do it actually very slowly because i wanted to be sustainable and i want to be able to monitor all the time what is happening to my period uh, with my sleep uh, make sure that all these things are in check my cravings and so on and my workouts of course i want to feel really good in my workouts like this is one of my major goals that like get really strong and if I'm under eating this is not happening so we made sure that we're going to create a minimal calorie deficit and see how it goes and we're going to really focus on macronutrients and it was really helpful for me because um, I think I mentioned one time earlier too when I was talking about my blood sugar and my period pain and in this episode I, I talked about how I used to actually eat super high carbohydrate which now I know it doesn't really work for me and by the way when I say high it was like over 300 uh, grams a day um, yeah I do have blood sugar issues like my I have a little bit of insulin uh, resistance happening so that tracking also helped me to keep that in check better so we cut my carbohydrates way lower we significantly increased my uh, my um, protein and we definitely kept the fats high because fats are really really important for the hormonal health and so I'm not gonna tell you the exact numbers that I was doing because I don't want you to com compare your numbers to mine everybody's different you need a personalized approach if you want to do macro tracking just don't take random numbers off the internet this is not working for you especially if you're somebody who has had those metabolic issues in the past who has had messed up hormones in the past please don't take a random plan especially something that a, a guy has put together and you know he's maybe telling you to eat 20 grams of carbs a day this is definitely not what you be, should be doing okay so uh, what were my goals? I wanted to feel lighter. I wanted to get a little bit leaner and I wanted to have better energy. So I know that many of us, when we recover, when we stop training so much and when we start eating more, we feel more energy because we are sleeping more and we are more rested and that was true. But on the other hand, it can sometimes make us feel a little bit sluggish, a little bit slow. And this is what I was feeling too. So I just wanted to feel lighter, feel leaner, feel a little bit more energy and truthfully just to look a little bit better and i have no shame in admitting it for quite some time i was like we should not really worry about that but then i was like you know what i would not mind looking a little bit leaner and this was one of my goals that i wanted to achieve i'm working out pretty hard um three to four times a week and i'm lifting weights i'm lifting heavy weights and i just wanted to look like somebody who's lifting weights consistently and now that i was healthy i was I had all the opportunities to do that, why not? So what were the results? The results from March, now we are in August, um, have been slow and this has been by design. Like I said, we wanted to create a minimal calorie deficit. I think we went with like 5% at first and then 10% to really take it slow and keep our eye on all the signs and symptoms that might be happening, if anything, uh, another so my result was yes I did lose a little bit of body fat um, I am thinking about posting um, my progress pictures on Instagram I have not quite decided yet but I probably will uh, the other day when I asked on my stories do you want to see them a lot of people said yes I was a little bit worried at first because I thought what if it's triggering for people but so many people said yes so I might do that uh, the progress has been slow and like I said this has been by design the other result that I have seen is that uh, there is way less mindless snacking. So one of the things that I noticed a lot in myself was that I was just like snacking randomly a lot. Like it's so easy to go and grab a handful of nuts and then have a protein bar and then have some more nuts and then have, you know, whatever. It was before I started tracking, it was pretty random and it was all from 
you know, what I was doing before. And there's no right or wrong, by the way. This was not a wrong thing to do. Like it didn't like ruin my health or make my health worse, but it also did not help me with my new goals. I still like to snack, but, still, but now I am keeping closer eye on how much I am snacking. And yes, when you are doing macros, you have to know your portion sizes. Okay. And another result, my periods are still coming, so I haven't lost those. I think if you take a really moderate and super gradual approach, and there has been plenty of time between you recovering and you know you have had you have given yourself enough time to be in this new body, then you may want to try something. And when you do it slowly and gradually, um, I think there's a good chance that your peri periods will stay healthy. So this has been the case for me. Okay, so I also have to, I just have to share who tracking is not for. And if, if you have an active eating disorder, then tracking is not for you. Maybe you track for other reasons. Maybe you're tracked because you know you have to take in a certain amount of calories uh, to get healthy, to restore your weight. Maybe for this reason you're tracking and I am not against that. But to track your calories to lose fat, if you have an eating disorder, it's a definitely no, no. I don't recommend this to anyone. Hoping that uh, those people are not even listening to this right now because you might as well go and do something else because this is not for you at all. The other thing um, that I want you to know is that tracking is not for you if you want to lose weight or body fat for somebody else. If you're thinking that you're going to be more appreciated or more loved, loved or you have better opportunities or whatever the things are that you think what people outside of you might be thinking or doing or wondering about, if you have these things in mind, then you're not ready for any tracking or any weight loss or any fat loss at all. Uh, you have to be able to completely do it for yourself. So like I said, in my case, I wanted to have better energy. I wanted to just feel lighter, look cleaner, do a few more pull-ups. It was really purely for myself. And it is absolutely true, and I can promise you it's 100% true, that I was happy with myself. Like I, I wasn't like miserable when I was bigger. It was fine. I knew that this is what I needed, but I also didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoy my body right now. So there is a little bit of difference. You have to know that you are doing it for yourself and not for somebody else. Now, if you're saying that, yeah, yeah, I am doing this for myself, but I still want to be liked by others more, or I hope that then I will be liked by others more, then no, this is a wrong reason to do it. You have to do it only because it makes you feel better. It's not because it makes you, uh, you know, that somebody maybe sees you differently just because you are leaner. This should never be the goal. Okay, so who is this kind of tracking for? It is for healthy individuals whose bodies and minds are healthy. You have to have completely recover from your disordered eating and eating disorders. Like my friend said, she said, do you feel like you still have any eating disorders, any, anything left even? And when I said no, she said, well, no problem, right? Like you are healthy and you wanna lose some body fat. Why are you feeling so apologetic about it? And I realized, yeah, she's right. I was healthy, my mind was healthy, my body was healthy, so why not? So if that's you too, maybe you wanna try something, okay? It is for somebody who wants to just be a little bit lighter, be a little bit leaner. Like I mentioned before, some people, and actually the same friend of mine, she said, I, prob I personally want to do it because it improves my performance. So she's a marathon runner, uh, she's, running, she's doing a lot of uh, trail running, and she said, yes, I would just like to lose some body fat because it helps me with my running. And it is true. Um, so there can be a performance aspect, but still you have to be healthy. Your body and mind have to be healthy for that first. Um, and also you have to be able to understand that this is going to be a slow progress, a very slow progress. So if you have lost weight several times over the course of, I don't know how many years, and every time you've done it super quickly, like for example, when I, I lost weight, uh, you know, a couple of times in my life, um, I did like a juice cleanse. And then the other time I did strict paleo, all these things took me only a couple of months to get really, really lean and really, really skinny. And this is now what this is going to look like, especially if you have had hormonal issues in the past, you haven't had your period, you have completely wrecked your metabolism. It's so much healthier for you to do it gradually and do it slowly so that you don't mess things up again. So in general, do I recommend macro tracking as a way of um, careful fat loss? Yes, I do actually. Um, for 
people who are healthy. I have to say that so many times, okay? The good thing is that you can really eat everything. There's no good things and bad things, but of course there's going to be a little bit of restriction. So if you're ready for this, you know that there's going to be a little bit of restriction because let's, let's not fool ourselves, you know? It's not that you can eat absolutely as much as you want because otherwise that would not be tracking. That, that would be maybe like intuitive eating. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so there you can eat everything you want, but you will have to track it. So if you are ready to do it, if you know that numbers are not going to drive you nuts, the numbers are not going to be attached to your like self-worth and your self-value, then yeah, then you can do it. Then then I, I do uh, recommend it because I just know that it works really well. And like I said, this is my first time doing it and it does work well, especially combined with Heavy lifting, heavy weight training, this is a really, really effective method to do some body fat and lean out. Uh, of course, you can do some cardio if you want to, but as you probably know, I'm not a big fan of cardio for those who have had uh, HA, or at least if you are like recently recovered, or if you have had metabolic issues and you have like high cortisol response, then I don't recommend a lot of running. I also don't recommend a lot of high intensity training. To be honest with you, I don't recommend a lot of high intensity training even to very like healthy individuals because it's so hard on the body. So what I personally recommend and what I coach with my clients too is heavy lifting or we can start with body weight training, but then heavier lifting and then really moderating food and finding the right uh, way of eating that supports your health goals and also your fat loss goals if you uh, have them. I would never do with you like a 25% calorie cat cut. Uh, if you have been eating, let's say like um, 2,400 calories in order to recover from stuff, we're not going to go to 2,000 because this is definitely too big of a cut. It may work for some like obese people who have been eating way, way more and have a lot of weight and a lot of fat on their body, then maybe they could do a 20% cut. But for somebody who has like pretty sensitive body, it just wants to lean out a little bit, there's not going to be such a big cut. It's not going to be healthy. And of course, it's also important to know that calorie or macro tracking, it's not forever. It's definitely not forever. You don't have to be like, you know, 50 years old and tracking still if you started in your 30s. This is not what we want to do. This is a tool. I see this as a tool because it has been very, very eye opening for me personally. And um, if I stop tracking right now, I could probably be able to do it. I wouldn't be as accurate, of course but I would do it much, I would eat much better than I did before because now I know that I really do have to eat quite a bit of protein and it takes a constant effort to get in the right amount of uh, protein. It's, it's pretty hard to get it in if, you, if you're not aware. Most women are under eating uh, protein and uh, I would probably not eat quite enough carbohydrates. I know that I'm definitely a person who's like leaning towards higher fat and higher protein diet because this is just what I like. But I know that for my thyroid health and for my better energy, I do need healthy carbohydrates too. Uh, you can watch my last video where I talked about why we need carbohydrates and why we shouldn't cut them out. And uh, please don't cut out like fruits and veggies and all that kind of stuff. Carbs are really um, important for you too. So this is what I have been doing right now. Um, I have seen nice results. I have not been feeling obsessed or super restricted. Like I said, it took me a couple of weeks to get a really good handle on it, to understand how to do the tracking and what I eat, like what I should have more of and maybe where I should cut back a little bit. But because my mindset is really healthy around tracking right now, I'm not beating myself up. I am still eating out occasionally. Uh, when I'm hungrier than what my numbers uh, you know, say, then I'm eating more. So that's why, because my mindset is really healthy, I have been able to do it in a healthy way. If you know that you are not there, absolutely don't track anything. Don't start messing with macros, don't start messing with calories. But if you are a healthy person who wants to lose a little bit of body fat, wants to feel a little bit leaner, and wants to do it in a healthy way and you know that you're not going to be super hard on yourself, you know that you're going to put your body's needs first, then this might be a good thing for you to try as well. And because I have like this method, I signed up for a macro coaching program. Uh, I have been there for some time now and I am starting to take on clients pretty soon. So if you would like to be the first one to hear about it, please send me a DM either on Instagram. You can also drop a comment here or you can send me an email. I'm going to be opening up macro coaching uh, soon for women just like you who 
have maybe been through um, restrictive dieting or or um, maybe even need to reverse diet so i'm super happy to get started with this if you need help with post recovery training this is what i have been doing for a while now so i am helping you to put together a workout program for you we are carefully monitoring everything that you're doing that your training is right that your eating is right that you're getting all the foods that you need also without tracking. So tracking is not gonna be a mandatory thing. I would say that maybe 50% of my people who are working with me do track some, uh, either the calories or macros just to make sure that they get in enough and then 50% don't. So there's definitely, you can choose either way, whatever works better for you. But if you are interested in working with me, then I'm going to leave a link below where you can check out more about it and and uh, you can let me know if you are interested, you can send me a DM or drop a comment below. Also make sure that you have my five day video course. The five day video course is called the Burnout Recovery Spectrum, where I'm talking about how you can go from burnout phase to healing phase and the balance phase. And then in the balance phase, you can start making these changes that I talked about today. So if you are right now burnt out or maybe you are already healing or maybe you are on the other side of it, this course is still going to be very, very helpful for you. I've had hundreds of women going through this course and they have found it really, really helpful. It's a super good uh, education material that you don't want to miss out on. So please go ahead and join me on this program. This is all that I have for you. Thanks so much for being here. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments and I'll see you next time.